let's assume that I'm having a variable i with a value 5. So I have a variable int i is equal to 5. The computer memory is nothing but a set of locations which can store values. Here I'm assuming that the size of an integer is 2 bytes. So similarly, I am showing memory locations of 2 bytes each. So we have a memory location of address 6000, 6002, then 6004, probably a lot of memory locations like this. So in the memory of any computer, you would have memory locations which would have a name assigned to them. So here the address of this memory locations is 6000. The address of this one is 6002. So at some other point, there might be something with an address 7000, 7002, 7004, and so on. So this is how the values are stored in memory. By default, when you start up a computer, when before we start running the program, everything would have a garbage value. Some value would be there. It's unrelated to the program at all. So there is some garbage value in each of these locations. So what happens when I do int i is equal to 5? The first thing which is done is a particular memory location is assigned to this variable i. So let's assume that this 6000 is assigned to i. So this 6000 is assigned to i and what is the value I am putting in i? i is equal to 5. So earlier there would be a garbage value, but now because I assigned a value 5, this becomes 5. So when I say int i is equal to 5, i is assigned some memory location. So some memory location, let's assume it's 6000, it can be 7000 or anything as well. In that particular memory location, what value is stored? The value which is stored is 5. So basically i here refers to the memory location 6000 and when i refer to this i whatever values in present in here will be returned back so let's say instead of i is equal to 5 i did i is equal to 78 so what would have happened is in this memory location the value which would have been stored would have been 78 so this is basically how things are stored in memory Let's say in addition to int i is equal to 78, I'm declaring another variable j is equal to 25. What would happen? What would have happened here is that j would have been assigned some other location, let's say 7000. j is assigned 7000 and the value there would be made to be 25. So this is how values are stored in memory. This is how simple variables are stored in memory. Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses. Number one is Udemy. You'll find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.